Stamford Bridge. <sighs> I know the atmosphere is always different because we have been losing so many games at home, but we have to win this game. We better not lose this game tomorrow. A loss is not acceptable. So, you know, we can't even... <laughs> A draw, a draw might, no, 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 no. We can't accept a draw. So we we really have to win this game. Welcome beautiful people. Welcome to yet another video. I am glad to be back with another video. And in today's video, we have just qualified for the semifinals of the FA Cup. Now, I want to toot my horn and say that I predicted this perhaps just by one goal miss. And I think it's safe to say even from the first half, from the starting 11, I just missed two players and for the overall competition, we did not win by one, two, three, but four goals, four goals and a 4-2 win against the number one Leicester City in the championship, but it's still not a match for us, you know. Chelsea, yes, 10th, 11th ranked in the Premier League, but we know what. We still took this one home. I am honestly glad that we were composed. Yes, we made a mis we made mistakes in this game. Don't get me wrong, and I will be getting into it. But the positives is that we have qualified. Now, yesterday the results were very interesting in terms of Wolves versus Coventry City. Now, Coventry City it was very almost almost a similar replay of what happened in today's game. But yes, Coventry City were able to knock out Wolves qualifying for the semi-finals with a 3-2 win with a win at the dying minute just like us with the win at the dying minute and the next game is Manchester United versus Liverpool and it's gonna be interesting let us see who qualifies for the semi-finals in terms of Man City Man City qualified for the semi-finals so Man City won with a 2-0 win so those are the two people that have qualified Man City okay three teams that have qualified Chelsea Man City and then Coventry City, of course, Chelsea with the highest goals. And hmm, what do you expect? This is the Chelsea that we know. This is the Chelsea we're used to. And this is the Chelsea I'm all about. I knew it. You know what? I, I, I said we cannot accept a draw. We cannot accept anything other than a win. And we had to win this game. I am super glad we won this game. And this is the result we are taking home, at home, and up the blues. I cannot be more excited than this. If you're into the channel, please like the video, share it with your family and friends, don't forget to subscribe. For those who will say it's a fluke, please subscribe too. For the trolls, subscribe too. For the non-fans, subscribe too. This is an all Chelsea fan channel, but hopefully we'll soon venture into other channels, venture into other teams and sports news in general. But so far, we are doing Chelsea content. So if you're new, please click that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it without wasting any more time. I am just so, I am so eager to dive into this one. And I am so happy. I was straight on. I was right on. Kudos to me and kudos to the boys. Kudos to Poch. This is the type of results that will have the fans backing you. You want our support? Give us this type of results. Simple, simple, simple give us these types of results we give you all the support that you need we're not asking for too much just wins and consistent wins then see how much we will back you and see whether we will be asking for you to be fired or we'll be asking for your replacement but it was a good game for Poch. i'll give him and the super substitutions oh i can't wait to dive into it guys it's great. it was a great game very interesting game for the first time i sat down and enjoyed the game from the beginning till the end although we missed a penalty could have been five goals but yes then again okay okay i'm getting carried away let, let, let me let me dive into the game so in terms of starting 11 of course i i made a mistake in my previous video Sanchez was not in the list and I assume because he's not in the rehab list he's just injured but Sanchez made his comeback in this game although he's made his come although he made his comeback in this game we went with the my predicted 11 just as I predicted it the predicted formation that is I predicted a 4 2 3 1 formation and that is exactly what Poch went with it has been consistent with this formation so I wasn't surprised now in goal we had Sanchez Sanchez which was a good it was, it was a good comeback from him we considered two goals could we have done better absolutely of course an own goal i know right an own goal really but we'll forgive him just because we won but an own goal we cannot be making these types of mistakes yes there was i guess there was no communication between the goalkeeper and one of the defenders but uh, yeah we'll get into it so in terms of back form 
I predicted Malagusto uh, for the for the center center backs. I predicted Trevor Chaloba and Disasi, and that's exactly how it was. Now, in terms of the left of the left center back, I predicted that. Uh, but I predicted that Bencho will be starting, but Kukurela started instead. And then in terms of the midfield, I predicted correctly. Kai Sedo and Conor Galaga. Enzo was not available for this game, so, uh, so Galaga had to step up. And rightfully so, although he missed some opportunities that <sighs> could have been very great goals. Of course, we had our fair attempts of, of attempted shots. We always have our fair share of those. But <laughs> this time at least we converted them into four goals so i'll take it i mean at the end of the day hey why not so in terms of the forwards i predicted sterling i predicted sterling and then i predicted mudrick and i predicted cole palmer at the number 10 then up front i predicted jackson now mudrick in this game was very disappointing i will not even lie very disappointing jackson was even it was not his day he was just ballooning the ball yeah palmer had some instances that he 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 kicked the, the ball over the bar but he had an assist and a goal so I, i'll forgive him i'll forgive him so let us jump right into it so in terms of the first half what happened now in terms of the first half we start the game more freely well we started the game at a high we are at home the atmosphere is feeling positive and most importantly we started the game very well so coming to the game tough minutes in the game we already have our first goal and guess who it's from it's from none other than Cucurella with the assist from Jackson and I'll take it 12th minute 13th minute according to Chelsea but 12th minute was when I saw it so <laughs> 12th 13th minute was our first goal and I, I was feeling confident I mentioned my preview my score prediction I hope by the first half we are able to put in at least two goals it's not gonna be easy but if you're able to go two two nil up two nil yes two nil up with a clean sheet by half time then i feel like in the second half oh, we cannot rule laser off laser cannot be ruled off and they can always make a comeback so if you're able to consider goal uh maybe one goal but then as, as we are two two as we are two nil up and we consider goal and go to two one i hope we are able to go another goal up so we will be comfortable in case they score a second goal we will still win the game you you guys get what i'm saying yeah <laughs> If we go at least two goals or by half time, we'll be comfortable coming to the second half because in case we concede a goal, which we did, and we did not only concede one goal, but two goals in the second half. So we had we had it was it was a battle. It was it was it was looking like it was going to go either way, and any of the teams would have taken it home. But in the first half, we were able to get our first goal. Now we also had an opportunity in the first half with a penalty, and Sterling was supposed to take the penalty, and he shot his stride directly to the to the goalkeeper. What was that, Sterling? What was that? I'll forgive you because you gave us an assist, but that was supposed to be a goal, a sure goal. So we would have been two up already. By the 26 minutes, would have been already two up, two nil up. But of course, at the extra time, 46 minutes, 40, 45 plus one, we had Cole Palmer scoring with assist from Sterling. As I said, Sterling, this is the assist that he gave. That will make me forgive him. But other than that, Sterling should not have missed that penalty. Now we would have been three nil up and coming to the second half, it would have been more comfortable but more pressure because Leicester City again they were not joking coming to the second half and coming to the second half now this is where we made our first mistake now 51 minutes we have we have um 51 minutes we have the sassy making a great disaster yes he had a disaster now he had a miscommunication with Sanchez I guess he thought Sanchez would be a far behind a, a, a few a few yards behind close to the goal post but that was not it he was not there and he was not on time and we ended up having an own goal and it was a very good goal because it's coming from outside the box are we doing this this sassy really really at a, at, at a quarter final this is the mistake you're making no no we cannot we, no no but then Sanchez walked up to him, gave him a kiss on the cheek, and uh, yeah, tried maybe to comfort him. Perhaps it's not his fault, but yes, it was his fault. The sassy, it was your fault, but we we'll forgive you. You know why? Because we won. That's just it. So after 51 minutes, we have considered we've gone 2 1 up by an own goal. So three goals by Chelsea. Then again, so this would have been four goals if it happened to be in the other net. The sassy. <laughs> At the 67th minute, we had Mavididi with an incredible. Ooh, that goal was. 
it was almost outside the box i will not deny a good goal when i see it with its quality i'll call it quality and this goal was quality sanchez he tried his best he jumped but then the goal hit the goal post and it just deflected in very good goal i will give them straight up that was a good goal a very good equalizer this way at this time the game could have gone either way and ah, this is why we had to make super substitutions and if we did not make substitutions but then again before we come to the substitutions we have a holy grail now, at the 73rd minute jackson had a, or jackson was headed to score but there was a tackle by one doyle now doyle this was a very interesting tackle it looked like it was above it looked like it was supposed to be a penalty there was some minutes that was spent checking the var yes first he got the yellow card for of course he did not hit the ball he hit jackson on his leg and jackson fell it was i thought it was gonna be a penalty i was fingers crossed holding crossing my heart that it would have it would have been a penalty because penalty open play i will take a goal the goal that will come it will come some people prefer open play open play goals some people prefer penalties but either way they all count if they end they end up behind the goal so we have our holy grail doyle gets a red card and laser city are down to 10 men i guess this is the this is the luck that we needed this sunday and take it home so hey who am i to who am i to who am i to fight the odds <laughs> who am i to say no to the good luck that's coming our way i'll grab it and i'll run with it especially after the shitty season that we've been having so after the 73rd minute we make our super substitutions of course i feel like this is the substitutions that Poch saw that were necessary he w and first of all i'll give it to him here yeah, he, he set them off in terms of ben Chival. yeah I, I really thought he would start i thought he would start i i I, oh yeah he, he i was right it was to take them off it was to take them off so yeah i'll give i'll give him that so as we have our holy grail there are 10 men down we make ourselves our substitutions now in terms of substitutions in terms of substitutions at the 78th minute we had mukela modric going out then chukumeka coming in at the 88 at, at the 86th minute we had noni madweke coming in Sterling going out, then finally at the 90th minute we had Kukurella going out, then Ben Chiwell coming in. So Ben Chiwell did come in after all. So did I get it wrong really? Did I? Mm. Please tell me in the comment section down below while you're at it, like the video. So in terms of the 92nd minute, this was an incredible goal by Chukwu Mecca. Oh! Guys, today's goals were just... Mwah. I don't have any complaints apart apart from the own goal by Disasi. I don't have any complaints. Chukomeka with the goal at the second minute with assist from Cole Palmer. So Cole Palmer now has one goal and one assist. I mean the player is unstoppable. He is just oh, too cold, too cold. Now to put a cherry on top, just to show these boys that we know what we are all about and we are not joking about this title. We probably want to get to the final. We are qualified for the semi-finals now, and now we're just waiting for the last team to see who qualifies between Man United and Liverpool. And it's gonna be a very interesting. I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Will I watch it? <laughs> but will I be following it? Absolutely. <laughs> Anyway, at the 98th minute, we had a cherry on top. Super substitution, Nonini Madueke. This gives us our final very, very no goal. Very, very, almost, almost, almost a replica of Mavididi's goal. But I will, I will, I will, I will not compare them. So, Madueke, yeah. Madueke with the goal. Madueke with the goal at the 98th minute. And Malogusto with the assist. Now, we have qualified for the semi-finals. Just as I predicted, I predicted by halftime will be two nil will be two nil up and that's exactly how it was so if you're looking to bet and you're looking for a sure bet be sure to subscribe to your girl because your girl knows what she's about she knows her football she knows her boys she knows what Chelsea is about <laughs> Chelsea has given me one confidence today and I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will pick on this confidence because we don't have many games like this so I'll take it yeah I'll take it. A 4-2 win, qualifying to the semi-finals. We, Coventry City and Manchester City, are the teams that have qualified. We wait for the teams that will be qualifying this the, this afternoon. And I'm glad that this is how the game went. So I'll take it. For my score prediction, I predicted a 3-1 win. But we ended up with a 4-2 win. And I'll take it. Why not? I mean, hey, we've won with a two-goal difference margin. And Leicester who? Leicester who? 
Leicester who are leading in the championship are coming to challenges, but yeah, you know what, we're still in the Premier League, so <laughs> they will go back to the championship and try to come back to the Premier League perhaps, perhaps next season. You guys will try again, yeah? So for now, it's bye bye to Leicester, <laughs> bye bye to Wolves, and bye bye to Newcastle. And that was it for my video. If you're new, please like the video, share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. I am so happy with how the boys played and I couldn't be more proud. I am a proud fan. I am a proud girl. And up the blues, up the blues, up the blues, up, up and away. So once again, don't forget to check out my channel, guys. You're missing out if you're not subscribed by now. So hey, hey, don't miss out. Don't tell me I didn't warn you, you know? You guys, yeah, you you say that I'll, I was, I'll be, I, I don't want to come back and say I told them. Hey, hey. I don't want to come back and say I told y'all, I told y'all, you should have subscribed. So subscribe, subscribe while you still can. And I'll be seeing you in my next video of the blues. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>